Howdy guys, lovely to see you all again. Today we're going to be looking at the delightful solo from Six by All That Remains. Let's take a look. Alright guys, so before we get too excited, we just need to talk about the tuning, which is D standard, which goes D, G, C, F, A, D. So get yourself a tune and we'll get started. Alright guys, so let's have a look at this little pre-solo riff that's sort of based around uh, some octave chords and some other funky things. I'm going to start off from 9 of the 4th string and 12 of the 2nd, so that's going to be our octave. And I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm going to do that 4 times. And then I'm going to play an octave chord on 7 and 10, 5 and 8, and then 4 and 7. That was all on the 4th and 2nd string, uh, respectively. So we've got this. After that, I work into this phrase. Let's slow that down. So I'm doing an octave slide from 5 to 4 back to 5 on the 4th string. And the first one, I'm going to do two open 6-string uh, chugs in between. I do it again. But then I have four chugs, so we're going to go one, two, one, two, three, four. And the next thing I do, I just do one slide back from five to four, and there's two chugs in between. So let's do that whole little chunk together. You can almost have it as dead notes if you want to, because that'll lead us into the next chunk. So let's have a look at what we've got from the start. Hopefully that's making sense. Then I want to slide into seven of the fifth string and play nine of the third as well. So we're going to have another octave. Then when I get there, I'm going to do three strums. And I do the same thing. I slide from seven to nine. And that's also going to be 11 of the third string. And after that, I slide from nine to 10. So we've got... Hopefully that's making sense. And then I work into this phrase. Let's slow that down. I've got a flat pointer covering nine of the fourth and nine of the third. I'm going to go from the fourth string to the third. And we're going to keep pedaling back to this nine of the fourth string. So there's a nearly that note in between all of these. So I'm going to go from nine of the third to nine of the fourth, then play 11 and return to our pedal note, and then play 12 of the third and then return to our pedal note. So we've got... Okay, then I want to jump to 10 of the second string and then return to that 9 of the fourth again. At the end of that, back to the pedal note. What I had there was I was playing 12, 11, and then I vibratoed 9 on the third string, and then the whole thing starts again. So we've got... Then from that point, we go back to all the octaves. The only difference is this time when I go to this phrase... I'm going to end on the 11th fret of the third string. So that's pretty much the whole thing. I'll do it all twice, but just leave out that note on the second group, and then we'll do it again even slower with some tabs. more time with some tabs. Alright guys, so let's get to the second section, the actual meat of the solo. We're going to start off with this little phrase. So what I'm doing here is a bend from 10 of the second string. I hit it again, but go up and down and then pull off to 8. At the end of that, a bend that goes up and down. So this is what we should have thus far a little bit slower. 
Hopefully that's all making sense. Then I work into this phrase. So I'm going to start from 14 of the fifth string, and then I'm going to hammer 11 to 12 on the third. And then after that, I play 15 of the second string. At the end of that, what I've got here is 14 of the fifth string, and then I'm going to pull off 12, 11 on the third, and then play 12, and it's going to go like this. So I'll do that all again a bit slower. From the start. Hopefully that's making sense. And then we work into this delicious arpeggio. There's obviously some cheeky uh, diatonic notes in there as well. So the start of that. Straight minor arpeggio. If we're in uh, standard tuning, that would be E minor. I'm pulling off 19 to 15 of the first, playing 17 of the second and 16 of the third. And then from that point, I want to slide from 17 to 12. That was on the second string. Then from that point, I pull off 14 to 11 on the third and then play uh, 12 of the fourth. So we're going to go... Let's go from the start of this arpeggio nice and slow. Hopefully that's making sense. Then I work into this phrase. Pretty diatonic. I'm playing 9, 10, 12 on the fourth string and then reversing that. So I should have four, uh, sorry, five notes here. One, two, three, four, five. Then I want to play uh, 12, 10, 9 on the fifth. And then end on 12. And that's the whole section. So let's take it slowly from the start and then we'll do it again even slower with some tabs. One more time with some tabs. All right, guys, last section. This one really, really stumped me. I had a really bad time figuring it out slowly. I watched so many videos of Ollie playing it. He plays it a little bit differently here and there. I watched a bunch of covers. All of them like kind of similar to the album version, but nothing was spot on. So this is as close as uh, I think I could get. I think it sounds pretty delightful. I'm going to start from eight of the sixth string. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play that eight twice and then play eight, ten, and then play seven, nine, ten on the fifth. So we've got... Then from that point, I'm going to play nine, ten, twelve also on the fifth string. Then from that point, I'm going to do a string skip. So I'm going to play seven, nine, eleven on the third, and then nine, eleven, twelve on the third. So from the start, we should have this. Then from that point, I'm going to play 10 of the second string. At the end of that, I've got a little bit of legato here, or you can just shred it if you want to. I sort of like to have a little bit of that um, legato emphasis. It does mix up sort of the straight staccato shred sound. So I've just played 10 of the second string. And I'm going to roll 12, 13, 12, 10 on the second string. And then go. So what I had there was uh, 12, 11, 9 on the third. So this is what we should have from the start. At the end of that, I work into this phrase. Let's slow that down. I'm going to play 11, 12, 9 on the third string. Then I want to play 11, 12 on the third string again, but do a slight bend on 10 of the second string. So after I've done that 10 on the second string, I'm going to play 12, 11, and then 9 of the third string. But add a cheeky pinch harmonic there. So we've got... Hopefully that's all making sense. That's the whole section. Let's do it again at a gentleman's pace and then even slow with some tab. One more time with some tabs. And that was the solo from Six by All That Remains. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And please click the links in the description box to my Facebook group and my Patreon. Catch you guys all real soon.